Hi, right, so this is the first video in, in absolute ages. So it's about converting all this data and drawing into a pie chart. Okay, so we've got 60 quality street suites and we've got five folk who've basically shared all the, the suites. So we got Tam, got your open suites, Franco got 13, Nancy got 14, Matthew just got the 9, and Brandon got 13. Now, you know these are the correct set of numbers because you want to just double check, tally it up. And it should add up to 60. Now, angle from centre, see with a pie chart, obviously you start off a blank pie chart, but you want to make sure you split it up into different segments and they all have to add up to the magic number of 360. Okay, so it's all about trying to work out how much Tam gets in the pie chart, how much Franco, Nancy, Matthew and Brandon. Okay, now to do that, you know there's 360 degrees in a circle, you know there's 60 suites, so we need to actually work out what each suite is allocated degree-wise. And to do that, we go 360, divide by 60, and that equals 6%. Okay, so basically each suite is allocated a 6% wedge of this pie chart. Okay, now all we do here then is we basically, Tam got 6 suites, so we're going to times... 11 by 6, so that's 66, okay? Franco, you got 78 suites. Nancy got 84, so you're times in a number of suites by how much each suite is worth in terms of, of the pie chart. Matthew, he got 54, and Brandon, okay, got the same as Franco, and that is 78. Now, you know, it's correct as well. That added up to 60, or oh, this has to add up to 360, okay? If it doesn't, you have a problem. Now, we've got the information that we need to draw this pie chart. Now, to draw a pie chart, here's a wee tip, right? I, I like drawing angles using the baseline that's going to the right-hand side. So we're going to draw Tam Slice. So you get the wee cross here, you put it in the centre of the circle, get the baseline, and that covers the baseline here, okay, or this ray. Now, 66 degrees, okay, 90 degrees is up here, so you know it's a smaller angle than 90, so it's going to be the inside one, and we're going to look at, it's not the best protractor, so that is going to mark it here, and then draw the pi, make sure it goes in the middle of the dot, and this is for tam, okay, so that's 66 degrees. Now, what I then do is I turn it, and it clock, no, turn it clockwise even, and I use this as my next base, and this is for Franco. Franco got 78 degrees, okay, so you got more than Tam, right, so 78, so I look in the inside, and mark out 78, now I'm using a big pen, so it may not be the most accurate in the world. But I hope you're understanding the technique, so this is Franco, now you can put in the angles as well, Okay, I'm just trying to do this quickly. And then turn this round again. So I've now got another horizontal line. This is for Nancy. So Nancy got 84. So I mark as 84. Okay. And it's all about getting used to what side, the inside or the outside of the protractor as well. So this is Nancy. And then turn that again, moving my mouse away. And this is for Matthew, you only got 54%, so, sorry, degrees, not percent. And I can't quite get it on the paper, so I'll just need to do it on my desk, which isn't the best. So it's not going to be the most accurate in the world. So that's roughly about here, okay? And that is Matthew. Now, there is one wedge left. And this should be Brandon's. Now... Obviously, you want to double check and make sure. So, in theory, brand not in theory, in reality, Brandon should be 78. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, so, I've not drawn it the most accurate because I've got it as 80%. Okay, so using this type of pen, using this small bit of paper, I've lost two degrees somewhere. Okay, but I'm sure you'll take more care than I have. But that's a wee rundown and how to convert. All this into one of these. 